And then if you wanted to tell a really easy story, you can start with, who is our customer? What is our value that we give to them? How do we get our service to our customers? What's the relationship that we have with our customer? What are the different revenue streams? What activities are we going to need to do? What resources are we going to need to do those activities? What are our partners going to look like? And finally, how do all our costs fit into place? That's it. Every one of your ideas in your mind can go into something as simple as this, and you can describe it to people three, four minutes. And it's very logical. So if you can describe your business model easily, it also means you can get feedback very easily. And if you get feedback, you can adapt and you can change it so it becomes more efficient. So what used to be difficult in trying to share an idea, like a, how your business works is not really quite simple with a, a tool like this. So maybe you have someone, a friend of yours, that's in finance or accounting, and they look, you can explain your model to them, they say, oh, you know what, you could save a little bit of money by doing this or by doing that. You go to another friend that's in marketing, and they say, oh, well, here's a few ways that we can advertise differently. And maybe someone in supply chain says, oh, didn't you know that there's these other channels and ways that we can get stuff to you? So all of a sudden, you've got more people helping you define and improve your business model. This is like why I couldn't sleep last night. It was so exciting just thinking about this and seeing your reactions. Okay, so really, this canvas is taking your hypothesis and you're sort of creating it to fact, but just because we put it on paper is it fact. But when does it become fact? Yeah, okay, yeah, when we we'll sell it or proved out. So to begin with, um, we usually have a thing, I call them guesses, but they're very educated guesses. <laughs> and they're everywhere. Because right now, when we're thinking here, we're guessing it about a lot of stuff, right? But slowly, we change guesses to facts, right? Why? Because we go out and we try validating our product. We start hearing what they have to say. Uh, we talk to different suppliers, so we find a one that we thought we could buy from them, we can't. But we only found three others that we can. So the way that we, here, I'll go back and, so the way we usually do an exercise like this, if I'm working with a company, is I'll get two sets of sticky notes. Because first they'll create their business model canvas, and I'll get and we put all the different things in all the slots just with a sticky note that you can pull off again. And they get it all populated, then they go and explain how the whole thing works. And then I'm the bad guy. I'll hand them in two different colors of sticky notes. And I'll say, I want you to go back. I want you to pull your stuff off again, and I want you to use one color for the things that you know are 100% proved out, and you put them in one color. And then in the things that you still need to prove, you put them in another color. So now you look at your board, and what can you do? You look at it and you say, oh, okay, well, the stuff I really need to start working on are the things that I need to prove to get it right. And then as you change colors to the things that now you've proved through your different testing, you're probably at a closer stage to be able to move along and push ahead with your business. So not that difficult. <laughs>